So chances are you recognize this design, but you probably uh, assume that this is made by a company that starts with an A, um, and this is some type of pad, um, which you'd be correct, but if the company you're thinking about is ASUS, you'd be correct. If you were thinking about Apple, you would be wrong. Hey everybody, this is your technology expert in training for man 2 here, and this is just a quick look about the ASUS ZenPad. I'm not sure of the exact time of manufacturing or um, design of this device, but it's definitely recent as it sports the Type-C port on the bottom rather than a micro USB port or, you know, Apple's Lightning, which of course that would not have. This particular device over here is in fact a Verizon model, so you have mobile data. And if you're wondering if this has stock Android or not, think again. It may have a simplistic interface, similar to that, sort of, of the iPad, but um, but ASUS's is nowhere near stock Android whatsoever. But it is quick and easy and does ship with Android 7.0 Nougat. Well, at least that's what's running right now. Although, I think it actually shipped with Android 6.0 um, Marshmallow, if I'm not mistaken. The interface, though, is definitely quick and simple. And it actually took me a while to figure out where exactly how to get to the Wi-Fi, which it was simple after an update. Um, it is now up here, but before that was kind of hidden. It took a very long time to find. Um, like I mentioned before, this is a very simplistic tablet that can probably do a lot. And it, from what I have used it um, over um, the last week or so, it's a pretty good tablet. Which shares the design with another particular very famous tablet. But um, from my quick experience with this, it's a pretty good um, buy. And... I can't wait to use this even more, and especially since it has that USB Type-C port um, and the dual speakers at the bottom, and a headphone jack. Now, the power button arrangement is kind of interesting, as it's below the volume button. Doesn't really bother me, but kind of odd to me. And also, it does have the SIM card tray. Not sure about the SD card. I'll have to come back to you all on that, but... Yeah, this, is, this ends my quick look. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all liked it. If so, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll have to catch you on the next one. This has been the Asus ZenPad Z10.